The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to download and install the recommended Canon driver for most Canon Image Runner devices on a Windows computer. Parts of this video contain footage that is sped up, so feel free to pause at any time to catch up or to take notes. There are a few generations of Canon models to date, but the steps to install should be very similar, if not identical, to what we are showing today. There are a couple of prerequisites before we get started. Number one. Your computer must be on the same network as your network printer, or the two will not communicate with one another. If you're unsure about this, just continue on through the next steps anyways, and if it doesn't work out, then simply contact your IT department to troubleshoot your connectivity issues. If you do not have an IT department, feel free to give us a call to explore what your next options are. Our number will be located on the Datamax equipment tag number, which is located on the front of your machine. Number two. You might need to know what your printer's IP address is. I'll show you next how to find that, but first, a few reasons why. With a Canon device, it is usually not required to know the printer's IP address, because the installation program will typically discover the printer for you. However, sometimes the network will limit the discovery of devices, and it becomes necessary to type the printer's IP address in manually during the installation. In fact, this is going to happen to my demonstration today. My driver will not discover any network printers due to network reasons beyond my control. In addition, knowing your printer's IP address will help make certain that you are installing the correct printer. This is usually helpful if there are multiple Canon printers within your company. So let's find your printer's IP address. If you have a Canon image runner with a screen like this one, you can press the 123 button on the side of the operation panel. If your image runner is all touchscreen like this one, you can press the 123 button in the corner of the screen. For models like I have shown you now, the IP address will be shown in the top right hand corner. If you have an image runner that is tan in color, or a generation 2, you will need to print off the network report. To print this report, head over to your printer, press the settings and registration key, select preferences on the screen menu, then network, and select output report. Select yes to print the user data list. This will print two to three pages, what you're going to be interested in is found on page 1. Shown here is an example of where your IP address is found. And here at the top is where your model number is listed. Now let's download the driver. Open your favorite web browser, navigate to datamaxarkansas.com, click support in the top right hand corner, scroll down a little bit and look to the left, click on download drivers. Click Canon print drivers. Use the search box to type in your model number. Do not click enter after typing the model number, but let it populate the results on its own. Select your model. Select drivers and downloads. It is important to select the driver that Canon is recommending first. Click download. On occasion, a customer will have a unique situation where a different driver is needed and not the recommended driver. Something like a PostScript or a PCL driver. If you do not get the results needed with the recommended driver, then call us at the service phone number located on your equipment tag to discuss other options. After clicking download, click save file if prompted. The file should download to your downloads folder. Find the file that you downloaded. It will be called something like generic plus, etc. Now this file type is technically a zip exe file. When you double click on this to run it, it will want to extract to the same folder that it's in. So once you run it the first time, you will need to find the extracted folder and double click on it to open it. Now that it's extracted and opened, double click on the setup.exe to run the installer. At this point during the installation, if you're prompted with network credentials being required, go ahead and stop and notify your network manager. You will not be able to continue with the installation if you're prompted with this screen. Click next. Click yes if you agree to Canon's license agreement to use their driver. During this installation, you may be prompted with an option to enable Canon's driver information assist. Using this is optional, but we recommend selecting this anyways when prompted, just in case it's needed later. For installation type, choose standard. Click next. Click yes on the firewall prompt. If your printer or printers are located, they'll be displayed here. If you see more than one, you can tell which is which based off the IP address that you got earlier. If your printer was discovered, go ahead and select it, click next, and move forward in the video to this point shown. Only continue watching if your printer was not found. In my situation, the printer was not found, but I know it's on the network, so I'm going to back up a couple of pages since my driver did not find any printers. So to configure the printer manually, select Custom instead of Standard, click Next, Auto Select will be checked, 
click Next. Give your printer a name. We recommend naming your printer based off where it's located instead of naming it after its model. For example, Copy Room. If this will be your default printer, select Set as Default. Click Add Port. Choose Standard TCPIP Port. Click OK. Click Next. Type in your printer's IP address. Click Next. Click Finish. Click Next. Click Start. If this option is not checked, choose Exit. Do not reboot your computer. If this option was automatically checked, you should consider rebooting your computer for the driver to work correctly. Let's set some defaults. Open your control panel by clicking the Windows icon or Start button. Search for Control Panel. Open it. Click on Devices and Printers. Right click on your printer and select Printer Properties. Your personal defaults are set here in Preferences. You are now on the Basic tab. Here you can change defaults from two-sided to one-sided. We do recommend if you have a color printer to change the color mode from auto or color over to black and white or monochrome if that's your preference for everyday printing. Click OK to set those changes. If other people are going to be signing into this computer or if this is a shared driver, you can set defaults for all users right here on the Advanced tab. Whatever you set in the Advanced tab will apply to all users. We usually set driver defaults on the Advanced tab regardless. Let's take a quick look if you're using Department IDs. You'll want to set that in Printer Properties, then go over to the Device Settings tab, and then underneath User Management, you'll notice that you can select Department ID Management, and then click Settings. Here, you can type in your Department ID and click OK. At this point, you're ready to print. If you have any questions about your machine, you can always give us a call. We hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.